When people come in the door for the first time, they're always surprised at the variety and the quality and the creativity that they find. The original shop one was downtown. It opened in the early 1950s and it was started by four craftsmen that had an affiliation with RIT and RIT at that time was downtown. So it's very well regarded as uh, being instrumental in being a part of what was known as the craft movement. So Shop One was open between 1952 and ultimately closed in 1977. Fast forward, RIT is now in Henrietta. And in 2010, um, there was an idea of having a shop on campus that featured work done by people that were affiliated with RIT. And when we started in 2010, there were about 30 artists' work that were represented here. And now, close to 10 years later, we've had over 350 artists' work shown here. We try to represent all the different areas of creativity. You know, there's art, craft, design, technology. So we have works from the College of Art and Design. We have works that come from the Engineering College. It's a, an educational experience as well as sort of a delightful experience for people to come here. In the Industrial Design Department, there is an annual design challenge given to third year students. And the students design products and then people that are from those uh, corporations come in and pick some of those products to actually put into production. So we have um, multiple examples of that here. We have a very interesting line of kitchen dishes and serving dishes under this uh, business name Boozle and designed by a, a young man who went through the industrial design department. His name is Kramer Campisiano. It is made from a bamboo composite material, so it's eco-friendly. Um, they actually approached a manufacturing facility that was working all in plastics and encouraged them to switch over from plastics to this um, bamboo composite material. So everything is made out of that. It's dishwasher safe, it's durable. They're very wonderful uh, modern designs. This is one of these wonderful things that happens. Uh, Mike Kelly, who is a faculty member here at RIT in the College of Art and Design, works with um, an organization called Rochester Refugee Services. And a branch of that is a group of people that run a sewing service. So they provide a lot of different types of sewing repair services, but they've also launched a line of goods sewn from upcycled fabrics. Um, and it serves to bring refugee families together and give them an opportunity to network, support each other, and also market their goods. So we've got all these really interesting things to discover. These are precious designs and objects, but they are all available for purchase. You might find something here you just really didn't expect.